The clock is ticking. California's Supreme Court has a little more than two weeks to issue its ruling on challenges to Proposition 8. On March 5, justices heard for a second time in as many years arguments that could affect the fate of same-sex marriage in California. Tudan LA's Patrick Healy has more. It could come as soon as this week, a decision from the California Supreme Court on whether or not Proposition 8 should stand. Prop 8 is the initiative voters passed last November. It prohibits same-sex marriage by amending California's constitution to recognize marriage only between a man and a woman. I'm confident that the courts are not going to destroy this key part of our democratic process, the right of Californians to amend their constitution. The justices are weighing three challenges to Prop 8. First, is it invalid because it constitutes a revision rather than an amendment of the California Constitution? Voters have the authority to pass an amendment, but a revision requires action by the legislature. I hope that the justices will find a way to rule that Prop 8 is invalid. Second, does Prop 8 violate the separation of powers doctrine under the California Constitution? And third, if Prop 8 is not unconstitutional, what is its effect, if any, on the marriages of same-sex couples performed before it was adopted? It sounds like the court will uphold those 18,000 marriages. I, I, I didn't hear any of the justices really hinting that they would, that they would tear those apart. Rick Jacobs listened to the March 5 Supreme Court arguments from outside the San Francisco courthouse. Jacobs heads the Courage Campaign, a grassroots organization supporting a variety of political issues. Immediately after the passage of Prop 8, when there was such anger and such a vacuum in terms of leadership, the Courage Campaign stepped forward and said, hey, we want to provide everybody we can with the tools and with the ability to energize and organize. The Courage Campaign trains activists to use the Internet along with traditional grassroots methods to organize support for an issue. It's a technique Jacobs learned as chairman of Howard Dean's presidential campaign in California, the first candidate to embrace the Internet as a campaign tool. We're building the grassroots army that's going to either make sure we keep marriage equality or, if necessary, win it back. Whether the justices decide to uphold Prop 8 or overturn it, this army of Internet activists will kick off a nationwide campaign in Fresno the first Saturday after the court's ruling. If we are going to change the way people think about marriage equality and, frankly, about LGBT people, we have to be in places like Fresno. Jacobs says it's important to take their fight for equality to Fresno because it's in the middle of the state and reflects the values of middle America. Patrick Healy reporting for Today in L.A.